When I was the kid, when I was born, uh, I had the spirituality, I think. I, I felt it, and my mom always said that I was somewhere from India. I was vegetarian, I, uh, I couldn't like uh, hurt a tree or a leaf or a flower um, and insects were very important so I wouldn't uh, like I wouldn't let anybody hurt insects or, she, she or thought anything. you had a connection with India? With India, yes. That's crazy. Um, she said like I was from some tribe because I was dancing when I was a kid and singing <laughs> some Indian songs. Uh, and now I'm trying to come back to that place. Yeah. Because when I was a kid, I was I had the um, I think the right vision and the right field for uh, for life. Uh, but then we we get so caught up with life, yeah. and we go on the road and we make wrong decisions or I don't know, yeah. wrong turns. But I think when we were kids, mm. More pure. it's a it's a pure state, yeah. and yeah. that's where I went back. India is a land of gods, a land of gurus and swamis and guides. India is a land for seekers. India welcomes everyone. I think it's important to have like, um, I don't know what, what, what you call them, like, uh, Angel. No, they're like, you know, in Tibet you have like a coach, not coaches, but uh, like a life coach, you know. I, I forgot the name for them. Mentor, guru, mentor, mentor, mentor yeah. Uh, and in the Western culture, we don't have mentors. Yeah. And that's why my certain uh, time of life was off. So I didn't have any mentoring. Exactly, you know? yeah. Nobody told me, oh, painkillers is bad or like cocaine will lead to something. It, I was thought, oh, that makes me happy. I should take it, you know. Oh, that kills the pain. I, I shouldn't feel pain. So people end up making the same mistakes over and over as like for generations. Or you can have a mentor who lives through that life and just tells you, like, no, no, that's... That's the right path. You still have to listen to yourself, of course. Hey. 
was something uh, from childhood, was something from um, from the past or the future, I don't know, it's, uh, I came here before for only a day or two days, and it changed my life, like, it changed my life that I stopped drinking, I stopped taking drugs, there was a big switch towards, uh, towards light, towards good, that, and at the same time, India almost killed me. But it was, it was nature that, yeah. again, that kind of in a hushed way showed me, because I got like bitten by something in India, and I almost died, like I got infected. But it was nature showing me in a hushed way that you have to correct, uh, you have to correct your ways. So before coming here, I, uh, I, I was scared, because India could, you know, the nature or, or India could be very can do it in a harsh way or you can do it in a <laughs> in a nice way <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
believe in everything in a way. Yeah, I, yeah. What, what, what? I believe in Buddhism, I believe in I don't know, Christianity, I believe in Jesus, and I believe in universe, and I do believe in God. I see all of it, like when I, I do pray, um, I don't know, I, you pray? I pray to all of them. Yeah, I, don't, I don't pray to, <laughs> I don't choose one particular thing. Uh, I take all good or all holy things or all anything that represents uh, something good. I kind of believe in that. I think page 14 maybe, I, that's where I stopped believing. I lived a life in a certain way and at age 14 I, I went off the road. Like I, I stopped being spiritual, I, uh, I stopped praying, I, I don't know, I became cold. I didn't cry for like many years. Just I went like really uh, a bit off. A bit off. Yeah, and then maybe age 24, 25, that I started to come back to that. But it's a pure choice. It was a pure choice. Do I want to keep going till the end with that dark side, you know, the bad side? Yeah. Or do I want to find the way and it was a choice it's like a pure unconscious choice or conscious choice which you don't know why you're making it yeah you just think oh, do I go good or bad because it's so much fun to be bad it's like it's uh, it's a, and it's much easier it's an easier to be to have fun to be bad it's like to destroy things it's more fun in a way, it's go. like a phoenix. Yeah, you have to just destroy, it, destroy to everything to build again. Yes, and in a way, and in a way, I was hoping that I don't have to do that. It's wrong. But in a way, yes, to build it from scratch and to live it. Fascinating because there's so many people who may want to do that. How, how do you do that? How do you destroy Sergey? And then and I mean, destruction happens. It's Sergei. the most fun. Sorry? The most fun is destruction because the hardest part is to build it. Yeah. And when you build it to the level that you think it's good, destruction part is the fun part and it's the quickest. You can do it in a week <laughs> or in a day. It, just light it up. Uh, yes. Uh, so that part is actually the most fun.
Yeah, I believe in karma. So yeah, you serve in your karma, mm -hmm. or um, or you got a good life because your previous lives or ancestors did something good. Yeah. So I believe in the in the repeat for sure. And and so, so do, therefore, do you fear what you do in this lifetime? Or I kind of not not fear. I, I can't say that I'm feared, but I definitely want to do good. Like, I want to do as good as I can. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you to find that again. <laughs> I'm not going to. Because... <laughs> what I meant was like, like, if you are conscious of a life beyond this one, do you do things subconsciously to ensure that the, the next life is going to be better than this one or, or at least the same? Um... But I don't even think it's uh, the same life can repeat. It's like uh, it doesn't mean you you have, you have to be on this planet or you have to be a human. You know, you could be a different energy, you can be a different be different thing, or like I don't know, a star. It, you know, I believe everything has um, has similar souls, yeah. like a tree or a planet or a moon. I don't, it, so you don't have to be a human. Uh, but yeah, I definitely think about sometimes, would I want to be a human mm -hmm. uh, or something else, yeah. yeah. Because uh, human is quite, I believe, quite a primitive thing, it's not... It's not an, you're saying that humans are not an evolved species? Uh, no, I don't think so. They're not? No, it's quite <laughs> primitive and quite uh, simple, simple way of thinking. Wow. And, and therefore, obviously, then you think you're about about humans, right? Um, in general, I I, I always see. I, I I don't look. I never look small. I don't look in. I always see a planet, and, and I see it from that angle. So you're like standing on top of the planet. Uh, sort of in space, not even standing, just floating around. But I always see a planet. And that's all my judgments come from uh, from seeing the planet from space. And the planet is your home? Uh, yeah, the moment. Yeah, <laughs> right now, yes. But, uh, but I don't feel... Attached. I don't feel attached at all. No. like the highest point like the moment where you felt that you had you had excelled all your expectations as an artist mm. that one moment when you stood there or, or that moment is still to come you know what I mean yeah I didn't, I didn't feel that like yet you haven't felt it no you should be you've done, your best. Like... you've done your best already right in terms of performance you've done your best Oh, it's yet no, to no, I never. I'm, I'm always out of shape. Like I'm never there. <laughs> I'm always like in a rush of like, will I make it or will I not? It's always that So, so it, it, you know, I, I was wanting to ask a simple question: that for you, ballet was a profession or passion, or did it change over a period of time? Uh, I think it changed. Yeah. Uh, Initially, what it was. Initially, I didn't even know what that was. You know. 
probably first three years I was doing it. I yeah. didn't even know why it, what it looks like. You know, just repeating steps. But it not, came from you, right? Uh, I just did my best because I came from gymnastics, and in gymnastics it was, you know, you repeat the the routine. Yeah. Uh, so I just did that. But uh, uh, only later, later I realized it was more like an art, art form. Um, but yeah, sometimes I thought it's a job, you know, mention done. Sometimes I thought, uh, uh, I don't know, I love doing it. Sometimes yeah. It's just a different period of time. In school, I think school system is a little bit, it's a little bit, walk, yeah. it's a little bit uh, too strict and mm -hmm. too... Our uh, ballet school is about telling you what to do and you just do it. Yeah. It's not, oh, how do you think you should do it yeah. or what's, in, you know, like what, um, what do you feel inside? Only when I did the private lessons outside the school, then it was more like about, oh, do a pirouette like there's an open window and then lights going through it and feel the light and uh, I don't know, feel the grass and it feel like it's a field of flowers and you're jumping over the flowers. So yes. only when I did the, the this private lesson, uh, teachers would talk like that, but not in school. In school it was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and the boring music, and they make you like, yeah. I hate what you do, and it's like so strict. We were not allowed to go to the toilet. Well, that's why you were naughty. You were messing around in the school. That's why. <laughs> that was the other. The I mean, other, you have to be because you were you weren't allowed to smile in class. You weren't allowed to laugh. Give me me. People don't like to change things. Yeah. But the life is about change. Life is in constant change. Sure. Right. So there is, uh, if it's still, yeah. like we spoke yeah. Yeah. before, it dies. And Bali is so far being like Romeo and Juliet or yeah. it's like they lived 300 years ago. It's like people don't, <laughs> it's like they don't. I mean, it's beautiful, but like yeah. it's hard to relate to that now which in my opinion doesn't work in an existing world yeah. anymore because it's not relevant. Uh, you have to create the stories that people can relate to. You, can, you have to use media, nice. TV, cinema. But Bali never went out of this uh, little uh, group. Yeah. And, you know, people with wealth and power, they're very smart. And they go there because they get uh, almost enlightened in the show. You know, it's um, spiritual. They kept it. They kept to it to themselves, themselves ah. for sure. And yeah. that's why when revolutions happened, people went to the theater because that's where the release came. That's where the I don't know the the wealth they lit where you know mm. because and they're smart. They're not stupid people, so they. And they wanted, they still want to keep it to themselves. So wow. there is a fight, they wouldn't want to open it, of course. But you have to, you know. <laughs>
And that's my strategy. I'm going with existing. <laughs> that's I'm going with an existing um, uh, system. So I'm going still with the latest. Yeah. I'm still performing for a lot of the purest. purest because the I need to get financial support yeah. to be able to to show work. You you don't mix words, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're you're, you're a strange person. <laughs> At one side, you're you're. You're very true, <laughs> and then and then you're also manipulative, but you're you're manipulative in a good way. And then you tell the person, "Hey, I'm going to manipulate you, and I hope it's okay because it's for a good reason." I like that. No, but you, you say that, and I, <laughs> and I believe in uh, telling the truth. Think I care about, but uh, no, but I do care about children. Yeah. That's the purest uh, form. Uh, but children is like animals, like insect is. It's a pure thing. Yeah, it's yeah. like unprotected pure energy. Of but when we grow up, we yeah. we become something else. Oh. Okay. 
the children have something they want to give to you. I, I like I like India because people and nature kind of molded. It's like I don't see poor people, I see free people. Ah. Who, and if I could have a choice, I would live in the, in the poor poor areas where everybody's together, you know, cooking, talking. I don't know, with together with animals. It's like <laughs> it's amazing because that it's it's real and. You feel earth, you feel grounded. Gardelam as shomar, in kovach khushan. But as a performer, when you walk in the arena or whatever the audience is, yeah. do you care to connect with the audience? When you for sure, in? it's all about that. It is, right? Um, because I'm performing for audience. Yeah. That's the only thing important. I'm not there because I love, you know, wiggling my legs. It's, it's <laughs> that energy. And I don't believe in in how you move. It's not about, because sometimes I take it to nothing. I'm just standing there. And that's the strongest. Because it's not about movement. It's not about, uh, it's about energy. It's like you're like a shaman in a way. And Sh it's shaman? You know, like a shaman in um, tribes. Oh, okay, okay. Who, because I'm, um, we're exchanging an energy. And that's what people get in energy. They're not getting it's not anything. The it's not the the running around or jumping. It's like okay, it's it the is the energy is that. Wow. And it doesn't matter what what you do.
but when they're done with destruction, what's the new Sergei? What's the new Sergei's mission in life? I don't know, I always have uh, the biggest goal, and I know I will achieve it. Um, it's unity of the world, okay. because we have to be one to be able to go elsewhere. So you be use your art form? Yeah, to make a world safer for a while and until we go to different planets. So as a human species, because that's what's uh, interesting is to colonize, travel somewhere, not you know, yeah, yeah. not to focus on the I little want to say things. One thing I want to interrupt you. Remember the chance we missed yesterday because yes. we had to rush here <laughs> to sit with yeah. Lord Shiva at sunset. That's the chance. It just started. Oh really? That's Hanuman Chalisa. See, you didn't miss it. <laughs> that's it. So that is the uh, the monkey Chilis. god. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember the one. So this is the chant we missed. Okay, and wow. it just started being played. It's about realizing that, like I realized, that there is no difference between human beings. It's like, it doesn't matter uh, if you're a politician or a normal person or a high skilled worker or a director. It's like, it doesn't matter, like we're just human beings trying to do our best. Um, and that realization is, because we can change the world in, this, in one day. Yep. Uh, but but that uh, mindset comes in a long time. He came to me after years and years of traveling, meeting people. The nothing you have to fear about. I'm sure something shocked you. Something. Oof. What, what the fuck is this? No, what shocked me how much he didn't bother to see dead people. Yeah, it was, it was like. Funny. But but when I was a kid, I was never bothered by uh, death. Yeah. And I love graveyards. I thought that was the most peaceful place. Yeah. Uh, and when, uh, when like one of my relatives died, uh, it was not like a shock or a bad feeling. I was like, okay, that's actually a good feeling about it. He didn't. So about that, I. But it was shocking to see a dead body, and it's like not feeling. Yeah. Nothing about it, like it's standing, bad and nothing bad. That body actually, one was below you and one passed you right beside your face there. Yeah, but I had a good feeling about it. Not yeah. But very strong when we were inside the room. Del Martín, del Bandín, 
جان مشروش دلخواهی کیم من آرزو بان کرده این آلام سر کردم نه آرام نه دل مفهوم دل بندی نه جان مشروش دلخواهی کیم من آرزو بان کرده این آلام سر کردم نه آرام دانو خیزان چون دوباری در نیابانی گهی خاموش و حیران گهی خاموش و حیران چون نگاهی در نظر نایی نارام نامیدی نهمدردی نهمراهی I see a lot of Shiva in you. You're crazy and very powerful. You have a deep soul. I see you as a reincarnation of Lord Shiva. Brother, you are truly special.